Had a bit of a late season snapper session last night. We got some beautiful fish. Now it's time to clean them. They've been in the esky nice and cold overnight. Now, one thing I've come across recently and it's become so handy and a vital part of my fish cleaning arsenal is a pair of these Rapala scissors. They're not just any scissors. They're very, very heavily made. They're almost like shears. The best thing about these you can actually clean a fish with them, but not only that, you tend to save your knife a lot more because you're not hacking through bones with your knife, damaging and denting your blade. I'm gonna show you quickly one great way you can use them and how you can actually get an extra piece out of your fish to eat, which a lot of people tend to throw away, but it is one of the best eating parts. First of all, just gonna knock the fillets off this guy. Just cutting through and around like this. And this is where a nice sharp knife is so handy. Up, through here. And you're just sort of feeling your way along with the blade. If it hits something solid, don't keep forcing it. And I'm just working this back. So we've done that. You just keep working around the fish. It's all we're doing. Okay, there we go. The only thing that this fillet's joined by now is the part where the ribs are joining to the fillet. So this is where these guys come in handy. Rather than getting our knife and hacking through those big heavy bones that a snapper's got, much easier to chop my way through the ribs. And this way I'm not ruining my knife or my fillet. There we go, that is too easy. And we have one snapper fillet trim that now with the knife off there and at no point has my knife gone anywhere near any fish bones all right now i'm going to knock the other fillet off this side i'm going to show you another way of getting a fillet off something that the jackson brothers gilbert and troy showed us over in norfolk and it is so easy and so simple because again this will save your knife blade and this time we're doing exactly the same thing we're working down along our fillet, along the edge of the backbone. You'll find that if you're doing this right, you're not actually working the blade hard and, and pushing it into bones and things. You're just sort of letting it slide along, finding its own place along the fish. Now, the easy bit, get your knife, scratch a couple of scales off down near the tail here. Okay, and this also helps with this process if you leave the scales on it makes the skin much tougher just put a little cut in the fillet like that that you can get your finger through okay then we've cut all the way through to the ribs and we go like that one perfectly clean fillet that came off in a second all right now at this point most of us would throw that fish away back into the water because we're done with it not quite there's plenty you can still get off your fish if you just chop through fish like that, chop that tail off, chop the belly fins off like that, and then work your way forward and you knock the top fins off, just like so. Okay, you've now got yourself some great eating. Throw those bits in the water, then if I just chop straight through that, if you dust that in flour, and put that on the barbecue, it is amazing eating. You just pick the meat off, and as you can see, there's still bits of meat on there. Really, really good chewing. The other thing you can do is the wings. I absolutely love the wings. I got onto them up in Darwin a few years ago. Barramundi wings are what all the local guys love to eat. And this is where these scissors are much, much better for it than a knife because they make it easier to cut through all these bony bits. And there you go a set of snapper wings. And you can do this with any fish, snapper, barramundi, sweet lip, reef fish, whatever. Chuck that on the barbecue and there's so much meat in around there. You just peel that skin off and they are amazing eating and so simple and something that you would normally throw out, making use of what you're catching.